Joseph M. Waller, who oftentimes brings us Joe Waller brings you bad news, is in for Trash Tuesday. You came in to Mraz and said, hey, what time are you doing Trash Tuesday? i got to get something off my chest. Switching segments, showing my versatility, DA. Well, who are we trashing? Well, by the way, I'm under pressure here because there's a Tiki Barber autographed picture laying on the desk here, and yeah. I feel like Tiki's just looking through me while I'm doing this. Very It's unhappy. like one of those portraits that you feel like the, the eyes are following you around the room. That's exactly how Eli felt in the huddle in 06. <laughs> <laughs> What a team we are, D.A., huh? All right, who are you trashing here? I'm trashing basketball announcers who use dopey, unnecessary phrases. Okay. This has become an epidemic. <laughs> it used to be once in a while. I've made a list. Here we go. Score the basketball. Yeah. Redundant, right? What, what else are you going to score? He can score, yeah. right? Not score the basketball. Right. Can't do it without the ball, D.A. No, you can't. Last time I checked. Next is the painted area. Instead of the paint. Instead of the paint. Why use six syllables when you can use two? <laughs> right? How about putting it on the deck? Yeah, what does that even mean? I, it means dribbling. dribbling. You know, but see, I think Raftery, who's great, we all love Raftery, came up with that years ago, but it was meant to be used once in a while. Like, look at the way he put it on the deck. Yeah. Not to be used over and over again every time you reference somebody dribbling. Right. They just seem to be these sort of unnecessary, trite, you know, phrases. And they remind me of a couple in the non-basketball world in everyday life. Like, one that people use all the time that gets on my nerves is, hope all is well. Mm, you don't like that. Like, when I get an email from someone and it starts, dear Joe, hope all is well. I know two things. I've not heard from this person in forever. Totally right. And they're setting me up to ask for something. That's fair. That's, That's how I request every guest. Hope all is well. I use the <laughs> hope all is well as a lot. I hope I use that a lot. I go to the hope all is well card a lot. And it's like, of course you hope all is well, as opposed to what? You hope I burn in a fire? <laughs> <laughs> like, what does that mean? And I have one more. Yeah. One more. <laughs> Good to see you. What, you don't like that? Don't like it. Why not? I find it's just so that? dripping with phoniness. When <laughs> I when I say to someone, I can only speak for myself, fellas. When I say to someone, good to see you, it means one of two things. Either A, I'm hoping to get rid of this poor guy as fast as possible, <laughs> and or B, I don't remember your name. Hey, good to see you. Not a bad point. And then you chat with the guy for like three minutes. It's bothering you the whole time that you can't remember his name. You're not hearing a word he's saying because you're distracted. And so to try to cover that up, you say goodbye to him by going, hey, really good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Waller's been sitting on these a while. Trash him. Someone just got trashed.